Hi, my name is Lisa, and I'm excited to share my new book called The Umbrella. It's a beautiful little story about how the power of friendship can help overcome fears. There once was a boy named Sebastian who discovered a little gray rain cloud floating above his head. He did not know where it came from or how it got there, but he did know he did not like getting wet. So he found a big umbrella to carry just in case it rained. He brought it to the park to take his dog for a walk and even to music class. Everywhere Sebastian went, the rain cloud went, and so did his big umbrella. The umbrella kept him safe and dry from the little cloud, but it made it hard for Sebastian to play games and meet new friends. Riding a bike was no longer fun. Neither was watching his favorite show. The upside was that he never had to share a seat on the bus, but he had no one to talk to or trade sandwiches with. He wondered if the rain cloud would ever go away. Until one day he was playing a game of kick the acorn and he stumbled across a little girl reading in the grass. Hello, she said, looking up at him. Sebastian smiled under his umbrella. Hello, he said back shyly. I'm reading a book about comets. Have you ever seen a comet? The little girl asked. No, said Sebastian, trying to remember the last time he saw the sky. Would you like to see one? It's going to appear tonight. For the first time in 76 years, she said excitedly. I'd like to, but I can't, said Sebastian pointing to his big umbrella. Why are you carrying that umbrella, she asked. To keep me safe from the little gray rain cloud, Sebastian explained. What cloud? It's a beautiful day. There isn't a cloud in sight, she said cheerfully. And slowly the boy peeked out from under his umbrella. And sure enough, the cloud had gone. That night, Sebastian put his umbrella back in the closet and met the girl in the park. They sat together for hours, looking up at the stars, sharing stories, and trading sandwiches like new friends do. And that is the umbrella. Thank you so much for listening.